Hey everyone, it's your favorite binary ninja here once again, Omni. And it's time to start Omnifying a new game. I've decided after some thought to take on the Fable Dark Souls series. Yes, we will be Omnifying Dark Souls. If you don't know what Omnifying means, please check out the video linked in the description, which will introduce you to what I do. I'm aware that a plethora of hacks probably exist for Dark Souls. However, in keeping with what we do here on the Omni stream, we won't be using anything currently out there. We're going to do all the grunt work ourselves, and since I'm doing it all myself, you'll have a much greater opportunity for learning. Also, don't forget, I'll probably be doing things really no one's done before, because why would they want to? So there isn't going to be much out there that can help us anyway. Do you wish that the Omnified experience was combined with other mods? Well, you can do that yourself. Feel free. I'll be posting all my source code to my Discord server eventually. Don't know how to do that sort of thing? Well then keep watching, you'll learn a lot. We're gonna start off our omnification process of the Dark Souls series by looking for and creating a reusable pointer in code that will reference the player's health. Most of my omnified systems require the player's health, so it makes sense to go after it first. So let's do this. Here we are in uh, Dark Souls 1 Remastered. I will be doing Remastered. Um, some people protested against that, but it is the newest one and I like doing the newest ones. I don't care about existing mod support because I won't be using existing things. So let's find the health. Here's the beginnings of our cheat table here. Let's find the health. So what data type will the health be? Typically in most games it's going to be a floating point. However, I would wager money on it. Then in this game it's going to be an integer 4 byte value. I found that typically Japanese developers like to use 4 bytes to store uh, health values as opposed to floating points and in Sekiro they store the health as a 4 byte integer. So I'm going to assume that it's also going to be a 4 byte integer here as well. Let's start off with the value typing 4 bytes, unknown initial value. Let's do that first scan. Only 500 million, that's not terrible. Let's uh, prep this then to start being uh, decreased. Selecting decreased value there. I'm going to go up and start getting whacked by something and I'm going to search for 4 bytes values in memory that have um, decreased their value. After we take enough hits, then we'll go off somewhere else and uh, heal up a bit and say it's increased. Here's a guy who's going to start whacking me. Okay. I took some hits there, so decreased. Let's wait until we get hit again. There we go, decreased. Let's get hit again. Decreased. And again. Decreased. One more time. Decreased. Alright, let's kill this guy. Good job, Omni. Alright, let's go heal ourselves then. And we're gonna say that the value increased. Okay, let's heal ourselves one more time. And say so the value has increased again. 326. And let's filter out all the values that are consistently changing as I do nothing as the health stays the same. 91. Alright, that's pretty good so far. Looking at what we got here, uh, the values that I am most liking are these small looking numbers, 691. So one of these is going to be our health, I hope. I don't quite recall if you ever see how much health you have in the game numerically, so I don't know if this is a realistic number. So it seems kind of large for the beginning of the game. But um, we're going to add all these to my uh, view down below, and this, uh, we're going to start changing them and see what affects my health in the game. Let's change this to 400. Nothing happens. 400. Nothing happens. 400. Hey, there we go. My health went down. Great, here's our health then. That was pretty easy. So let's create a pointer that will be valid whenever we attach our code to the game. And we're going to do it like we always do it. We're going to see what's accessing this uh, value here. And uh, we're going to write uh, some code hook into that code that's uh, accessing our health and I'm going to piggyback off of it. So here are all the instructions accessing this uh, place in memory. Got a whole bunch of them. Ideally I would like to find a function that is only accessing the player's health so I don't have to do any filtering. So let's start with the one that has the highest count, although this is probably going to be a general health polling function. And let's see what this is accessing. So this is accessing three separate values here. This is mine. These are probably some enemies, maybe. So not good for us right now. Let's see if there's something easier. 
So we can't use this uh, general pulling function here because it grabs all the other creatures health. Let's just go one down and see what that looks like. Right here. Let's see what this is accessing. Good, this is accessing the player. Wonderful. So we don't have to do any filtering here. This is just reading from our health. Good. This uh, seems like an ideal place for me to put in the health hook. And hopefully we're able to squeeze in a hook here that won't uh, also include the jump statements here. I don't like having jump statements in my hook. Let's do a full injection here. There we are. I'm going to run this through my little processing tool to make this a bit more omni-friendly in terms of the code. All right, I pasted in the hook here to our uh, player health hook. Um, this is basically the code we just saw a second ago. Let's uh, allocate uh, some memory then for our pointer to the player's health. Let's make it a symbol. And we don't have to do any filtering here, so we're just going to uh, have our pointer point to contents or the address that's stored in the RDI register. And that's it, that's our player health. Let's hook in our code here, boom. And add a entry for our pointer. Player health. And the offset is uh, 3E8. And then here's our reusable health pointer. There you go. We got the health. Next thing we'll do is grab the player's coordinates. After that, we'll have everything we need in order to implement the apocalypse system. Get this game Omnified. Stay tuned for more videos. And if you want to check out the Omnified gameplay live, you got to catch it on my stream, twitch.tv slash omni. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button below. Like, comment. I really appreciate it, guys. Bye.